Hello everybody and welcome in. Emperor Bubbles has returned once again and today we're covering more builds for Rome 2 and today we're covering Kush. Uh, going to do things a little bit differently today. First we're going to go through the units and then go over the builds. I already have a build on the screen but uh, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, the generals can bring a scythe chariot, Kushite royal guard, the war elephants or the royal Kushite archers. Honestly, uh, I think in all these builds, they're bringing the Kushite Royal Guard. Maybe, I actually, one I think I have bringing the Elephant. Um, I did pull the people. Um, got uh, got some feedback. But uh, for the most part, two of them are... One of them is inspired by Barca. One of them is mine. And then one is just... I think it's from Graham, a new member of the Empire. But uh, anyways, you know, let's look at their melee infantry. Slave infantry, no pillum. Um, so I probably would avoid those guys. Kushite Slave Infantry only cost 80 more, and they do get Pillum, so pretty equivalent to a Levy Freeman. I highly recommend that unit if you need uh, some, you know, just you need to fill some space, uh, spend some coin. Those guys are very cost efficient, and uh, they get Pillum. Swordsman, you know, a little bit better. I guess I'll put up their stats over here. Uh, they get Pillum, a little bit more expensive for, uh, for what they do. Um, not the best. So Shotels. Good armor piercing. Um, just something about Kush in general. They're uh, like these Shotel Warriors, especially, and the armored Shotel Warriors. Very good at armor piercing. So if you're going up against a heavily armored faction, such as, uh, let's just say, like a spear faction, these guys will do a great job. They won't do as good against people who are uh, lightly armored, such as Lusitani, or, you know, a barbaric faction. Uh, something that, uh, you know, th there is one unit, though, that does. Very good against all melee units. It's the Disciples of a Pedmec. Probably my favorite melee unit in the game. I think, uh, to me, they're the best melee unit in the game. If if used properly, if you can get the proper charges, if you can get in there, they will do a tremendous job. Uh, they have some cool abilities, too. You know, they got Headhunt, Frenzy. But uh, sometimes I, I don't really like to use, you know, Headhunt or Frenzy. I like to keep my men, uh, have, to have them good with good stamina. So if you use those, that will use your stamina. But uh, they, and then they scare everybody. So they have a morale debuff to the enemy. That's something to think of. And I just noticed this. I'm pretty sure all Kush units are resistant to heat. So if you're playing, if you're playing on a pyramids map, you know, a desert map, uh, your men will not take uh, a debuff from the heat. So they will actually stay, uh, their stamina will stay higher longer. Uh, let's just move down to the spears. Probably wouldn't ever bring a leopard warrior. I I would just avoid that unit, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, Nubian spearmen, definitely better than the Kushite slave spearmen. Nubian spearmen get Pillum. I'm 99% sure these guys don't get Pillum. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but let's see, so Kushite pikes. Okay, it depends who you're going up against. Obviously, you could bring some pikes, but... Um, you know, and just uh, if you're just going for a melee build, you know, the best Kush builds you can think of, probably not going to bring Pike, unless you're facing, uh, for example, a Saba. Maybe you want to bring some Pike or, you know, a Cav Heavy Faction. And that can, you can make that work. So you got, you got your basic Javelin Throwers, uh, Slave Slingers, so cost efficient, solid. Just like, you know, every every faction has those Slingers um, and kind of that are, are cheaper. I know some factions have a 380 Slinger, but these Slave Slingers, 210, affordable and good. Archers, not not the biggest fan. I think the range is, yep, range is only 125, so not really a fan of those guys. Uh, Nubian Bowmen, they have the 150 range. I mean, you could take them, but uh, I, I'm more of a slinger guy. <laughs> let's let's be honest. Uh, they do have elite archers, some of the best archers in the game, the Royal Kushite Archers. So if you want to, um, you know, go more with an archer build, you sure can. Uh, I think most of these builds, actually all of them do not feature any of these archers. Uh, there's just better things to do with Kush, and that's to focus on melee. They uh, they have some dominant melee. But uh, let's click down here on the melee cav. These guys, very, very solid. 580, I'd say, uh, compared to a citizen, definitely better than a citizen cavalry. Um, and I think, I'm not sure, one of these units might get a pillum. Could be the desert cav, but they might, actually, they might not. But uh, there's the general unit again, the Kushai Rail Guard. Very solid. Very solid unit if you, if you can afford them in there. Uh, you get you got elephants and chariots. So uh, lots going on there. Good good faction. Uh, fun to play with. Fun to fun to dominate with, if I do say so myself. So this first build, 
It is my slash Hammy's build. Hammy helped me helped me build this a while back, but uh, it, I, I've also I've made some changes as well to it. But uh, we're rocking four slave slingers, four armored desert cav, a Kushite rail guard, four a pet mech. Uh, we're not messing around there. Uh, for the Kushite slave infantry, so they have the pillum, Nubian spears for pillum, and then uh, it's so good that you could also fit in a Shotel warrior. So what's going on here? I got four slingers, okay? I'm bringing five cav. Essentially these guys, you know, you, you can use them offensively, you can also use them defensively to protect your slingers. Uh, as we've seen in, you know, top Total War League matches, having cav and uh, using it correctly is incredibly important. You can, you know, you can send this cav in uh, as an initial charge and then send in your uh, ped mech or your Kushite Slave Infantry. Just the thing with this build is it's very important to uh, not get shot by arrows or slingers, which, you know, that's what Kush is going to be facing often. You know, if somebody wants to counter you, they're going to be bringing lots of arrows, lots of slingers. So uh, you just got to make sure that when you're going to go in to your melee engagement that uh, you got to get your ped mech in there and utilize them correctly. Do not have them stranded on a flank, isolated. Uh, it's at your best unit. That's the, the breadth of your army. So if you're using this, make sure you can get your ped mech into melee properly. But uh, let's load up the next Kush. This is from Graham, a member of the Empire. I'm trying to see. I might have... Did I not save the other one? Okay, yeah, there. Okay, I saved it as Barca, <laughs> Barca's Kush. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what's in there. That'll be next. Anyways, uh, this is from Graham of the Empire. He's bringing, uh, let's see, six slave infantry, six Shotel, uh, two Kushite slave infantry, disciples of a Pedmec, but this is where it gets interesting. Whoops. Uh, two desert chariots and two armored desert cavalry with a Kushite royal guard. So this one's just a little bit more daring, a little bit more fun. Uh, you got the Kush chariots. Uh, not the best chariot, uh, or should I say light chariot in the game. Uh, but they're, they're, they can still do damage. Obviously, the Iceni light chariots are the better ones. But uh, this this one's fun. This is more of, you know, you gotta get in those chariots. If you can't utilize your chariots, uh, or you, you know, you're not that good at micro, maybe maybe don't bring this one. Uh, maybe try one with the slingers. But uh, this is this is pure melee. <laughs> you're rocking, what is this, 15 melee? So you still have a lot of damage with the Shotel and the Epet mech. But uh, just, you gotta make sure you're utilizing those chariots properly. But uh, that is that build. Let's look at the last one. I don't know if this is actually Barca's. I, I was building a different one. This isn't actually it. But let me, uh, let me just do a quick edit. And let's build another one. Alright, pardon me there. But uh, I might get roasted in the comments for this build. But, uh, it you know, I wanted to get something a little bit different. Use the elephants. Uh, so here you have it, uh, two African War Elephants. So kind of the same thing as the Chariots, but this time you're gonna have Elephants. And it's just gonna be pure chaos. Uh, this one you're rocking three Shotels, two of the Nubian Spears, uh, three Swords, one a Ped Mech, uh, four Kushite Slave Infantry with three Slingers, and then the two Armored Desert Cavalry. So uh, it's, you know, kind of kind of similar. You, obviously you want to protect this a Ped Mech. Uh, your best melee, your best melee man, and then the three Shotel warriors. But uh, just try to make sure you get in those elephants, overwhelm your enemy, and then uh, just have a blessed victory. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you learned something. Hopefully these builds, uh, these builds help you. I'm definitely going to try to go more in depth uh, in the future videos, like I was doing here, going over the units and just what I like, what I don't like, uh, things like that. But uh, until the next video, Brave Fighters, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to the Emperor. Glory be upon thee, and glory to the Empire.